Keep in mind, the first loss was to the Chiefs. Acceptable. But an MVP back-to-back -back losing, not back-to-back, -back, but two-time losing to the Raiders, can't happen, Lamar Jackson. Now he's facing 0-3. But next up is a huge matchup on Fox versus the Dallas Cowboys. I was thinking about this. Playoff games are different. Y'all know. As fans, y'all care more. Y'all yell louder. Players, we literally throw our bodies on the line in ways we never have before in playoff games because it is do or die. A playoff game has an intensity that is unmatched, I would suggest, in any other sporting mm. event that I have been to. There is nothing like the NFL playoffs as it pertains to the <clears throat> physicality of that moment. Shade, you played in a lot of playoff games. <clears throat> you won a couple Super Bowls, so you know this better than anybody. Mm. Is Sunday like a playoff game for Lamar Jackson? Yes, it is. Yes, sir. All right, this is a must win. It's a playoff environment, and they got to get this dub. You know, I think about Lamar Jackson, he's never been 0-2. Never start out like that, ever. Never? Never. And he's never been 0-3. Never, ever. And another thing about when, when you're in a playoff environment, you watch a lot of tape, a lot of film, right? Well, if you watch a film of the Cowboys, you watch them boys run up and down the field, running the ball, up and down the field, throwing the ball. So everything is open against this team. And you add Derrick Henry. What else do you want? I think the spotlight is bright. And we know one guy doesn't play well when the spotlight is bright, mm -hmm. and the other guy does, Lamar Jackson. So, Who are you talking was, about the other guy? Hey, man, hey, man, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what mean. I'm going to say is this, though. They have to win this game, though, because a lot of things yeah. might be off air, like, like hardball. Hey, man, you, you've been doing your thing for a long time. It's never looked like this. Mm. Well, it is now. And they might call for his job. You never know how this thing plays out in the NFL. Very so yeah. get it done, you, Lamar. You have a 2.5% chance if you start 0-3 to make the NFL playoffs. Yeah, so it, this is absolutely a playoff game Come before on. the playoffs even get started. You said a no MVP's ever started 0-2. No MVP's even sniffed 0-3. Yeah, the last yeah. time was Kurt Warner. Okay, he started 0-4. Like, you got to go all the way back. But this is not all about... Lamar. It's about the play caller getting into a rhythm. It's about that offensive line blocking better. Lamar's been hit 26, 27 times. Entirely too much. That includes runs. My biggest issue with this team is their defense. They've lost Patrick Queen. They've lost Geno Stone, Jadavion Clowney. They're, they're supposed to be the heartbeat of the team. Yeah. It hasn't showed up. Dallas has shown they can score points in bunches. <laughs> and you saw what the Saints did to Dallas's defense. This game cannot be in a shootout. It cannot get in the shootout over the why last. Not, why not? Why not? Because over the last ten seasons, the Ravens have a six and thirty-three record when they allow twenty-seven plus points. Twenty-seven is the number for the Dallas Cowboys. If you get to twenty-seven points, okay. If you get to twenty-seven points, you're gonna win that game. <laughs> question: um, If the game gets into a shootout, yep. Because if I'm Lamar Jackson, a two-time MVP, mm -hmm. one time is unanimous. unanimous. If I'm shooting out versus that. I better have more bullets. Because mm. I'm an MVP. He does have Two more. Two times. No, he he has. Has. I'm not, I'm not even talking about it. weapons. Yeah. I'm talking about I'm better right. than you are. Mm. And even though my defense lost a lot, Cowboys defense just gave up six straight touchdown drives mm. to the Saints. Mm. So if I get into a shootout, I, I wish I wish Dak would try to get into a shootout. That's the energy I have. Yep. I feel you. I'm a defensive guy. I know everybody yeah. they lost, including the defensive coordinator. I said the Ravens this year are like the Eagles last year. Coming off of what should have been a Super Bowl attending season, mm -hmm. lost everybody on defense. So I have already predicted and subjected myself to what's going on with the Ravens. But where I'm at, Chase, is it, if it's a shootout, let's shoot out then. Yeah, let's but, shoot out yeah, then. The, that's what I'm saying. It's just Lamar, If it's going to look so bad on Lamar in this offense and the offensive coordinator, Todd Munkin, if they can't replicate what the Saints... Bingo. What the Saints... Bingo. With Derek Carr, I like him. Okay, he's a great... He's not Lamar Jackson. He's not at all. If they don't replicate that, they should be embarrassed. Yes, mm. sir. And, yes, and that, sir. that's going to be the storyline because the Saints put up a 40-burger, six straight touchdowns. Yep. I'm, that's going to be the storyline for me. That's what I'm watching. So if you do get in a shootout, you better win. Yes, sir. You better win. Yes, sir. We're talking defense. And we're talking the two-time MVP about to take the field. Mm -hmm. And we're going to say the defense ain't playing well. Mm -hmm. Go be the MVP, bro. No. Oh. Go, go, go. Like all, this, all this small talk stuff, go be the MVP, bro. This ain't no playoff game. This is somewhere Lamar Jackson has never been. Lamar been to the playoffs. <laughs> this is somewhere Lamar Jackson has never been. My dog Shady started the segment off saying he's never been 0-2. Mm -hmm. And we know since he ain't never been 0-2, he ain't never been 0-3. So for me, this ain't no playoff game. This is your Super Bowl. This somewhere you ain't never been. You have never oh, been to my level. This is your life. What is my life? I swear I'm like this. This is your life. What do you think? What do you taste like that? Yeah. Yo, so what happens if you lose a bad boy, huh? Yeah. 
if, if you're going all in, what happens like. to Lamar and the Ravens if you lose their Super Bowl? You know what happens when you lose the Super Bowl and you play, you play really bad? A lot of changes. And I think that's what could come out of this game. If you After go 0-3, it's going to be a lot of questions, a lot of changes. Maybe not in the season because Baltimore don't work like that. But at the end of the season, it's going to be a lot of changes because all the changes that we have made up to date was for the MVP. Not the defense, was for the MVP. So the MVP, listen, bro, go deliver, right? We talk bad about Dak Prescott. Right? Dak Prescott, offensive side of the ball right now, other than C.D. Lamb, with all due respect, because I know it's hard to play in the league, ain't as good as what Baltimore's is. Ain't even close. So we shouldn't even be talking about defense. We should be saying, my quarterback is better than your quarterback, and we are coming into this game in Dallas, and my quarterback got way more than your quarterback got. Go be the MVP, you bro. You said an interesting thing. You said the changes were made for the two-time MVP. How many more changes do you need to see around Lamar for Lamar to be Lamar. And that's what I'm saying. Say if it, they man. don't win this game, it's going to be some people fired and some changes. Obviously, Lamar got the money, the contract. He ain't going nowhere. But it's going to be a lot of changes in that building. I don't know what it is, but it's going to be some but changes. Chase, you hit the nail on the head, bro. Like... You can only do so much more for thank, Lamar. Thank you. Remember, the that's whole... And I've said this. I don't oh, have enough time ooh, to say it, but I'll give y'all... I'm just asking that oh, question. Oh, oh, I'll give y'all a bit of it. Like, <laughs> stop. The whole Ravens defensive philosophy, excuse me, the whole Ravens philosophy for the last 20 years has been defense. You draft defensive players. You draft uh, linebackers, defensive ends, defensive backs. Then when they acquired Lamar, it all changed. Mm. Now, all of a sudden, we draft Hayden Hurst. We draft Lamar. We draft Mark Andrews. We draft J.K. Dobbins. We Bateman. draft Rashad Bateman. We draft Hollywood Brown. We draft Zay Flowers. That wasn't the Ravens. The Ravens won Super Bowls by drafting Ray Lewis's, by drafting Ed Reed's, by drafting T. Sizzles, Terrell Suggs. Mm. They didn't win Super Bowls by drafting Jesus. all of these first-round skill positions, but they did it for Lamar. Completely changed their identity. Greg Roman, phenomenal offensive coordinator, not good enough. Get a new offensive coordinator. You can only change so much, mm. man. So but eventually you... they're going to look around and be like, hey, how can we get it done with Lamar? What else can you change? Just asking questions. What else? So... The question y'all asking is, y'all don't think Lamar could get it done. Is that what you're trying to get at? Because because basically y'all saying, we done did this, that didn't work. Now we done did this, that, that didn't work. work. We done drafted all this, <clears throat> that didn't work. Even though you win an MVP, it might not be you. Is that's that what y'all saying? That's what I'm saying. Just a question. I'm not saying well, that. I'm just saying I won't, the question I won't out that there. for. Because like, we, we can be honest and say that like his weapons that, and it's a solid, solid group of weapons, right? But over the years, you keep all the guys he drafted, they didn't, didn't pan out. You talk about Dominus, he's been hurt every time he stepped on the field for the Ravens, right? Rashad Bateman is another one. He's been hurt a lot since he's been. Sure. So I get what we're saying. Like we want to. I know we're trying to put this hole in Lamar, but if we're just being honest and fair, a lot of his weapons that they did draft didn't really pan out. The only other person that has two MVPs in Lamar's tenure, I believe, is who? Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes, right? And yeah. I'm not saying Lamar is Mahomes, but it's, it's not, not my fault. Aaron didn't have now, two since, since, uh, Oh, you might be right. Maybe? It's also Aaron. Oh, it's not my fault, Lamar. You can be Mahomes if you want to. Mm -hmm. I'm not holding you back from being Mahomes because when Mahomes lost Tyreek. When Mahomes lost uh, uh, all these receivers last year, Mahomes still getting it done. So the, yeah. I, I'm not he, stopping he ain't Mahomes, though. a thousand percent. Right. But why not? Not because you said so. Not because I said so. He had a better year than Mahomes. What, I, what I'm no. saying is, then go be Mahomes. But see, but like, like we for, can a like, for a year, for a year. I don't know. We can do this for every quarter. Okay. For a year. Okay, so that's that's that's. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, Matt Ryan yeah. for a year Maybe was 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 Aaron Rodgers was Tom Brady. But like, not a year. Eli, like, you got years. Years. I mean, that's the point. Just, I, don't, I don't need you to be my home for your whole career, but right. just four years. Yeah. But, but, but not only that, I think when people say, like, go be Pat or Aaron Rodgers for a year, mean, like, throw the ball. No. Well, he's, he's, he's saying dominate and just win like them. Yeah, like just, them. but I'm just saying that could be your legs. Like, just go, go win. That's it. I just, just four years. Just four years. Hey, go to Fox Super. Fox Sports app to play Fox <laughs> Super 6, sponsored by DraftKings. It's free, oh, yeah. and you can win cash oh, prizes. Yeah. One of the questions is, who will have the most passing yards this week? Are Brock you, you saying? On Fox. Lamar Jackson at the Cowboys on Fox. Dak Prescott versus the Ravens on Fox. Or Jalen Hurts mm. on Fox. <laughs> that last one, baby. On Chase. Fox, yeah. We get it. They're all on Fox. Come on, man. Chase, who you got? Brock Purdy. Hey, I don't care if he has no CMC. I don't care if he has no Kittle. I don't care if he has no Debo. The Rams got bamboozled last week versus Kyler Murray in the in the uh, Arizona Cardinals. If Kyler Murray can have a perfect passer rating, I think Brock Purdy is going to be perfect as well. Ooh, put your money where your mouth is. Then right. coming up, now you gonna we're going to put that $50 up. Yeah, let's go. <laughs>
We're headed to a it's TV free money. show. <laughs> Eagles versus Saints. This really is a must-win game for the Philadelphia Eagles, some would suggest. So who do we have more belief in? Jalen Hurts? Or am I reading that right? Derek Carr? DC? That's next. We